everyone, welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing good. So this morning we're going to be talking about what is going on across the North Atlantic. And so fortunately my area received power last night. So it has been such a long wait. Like it feels like it's been such a long time. But we finally got back power in the wake of Hurricane Beryl which moved by on Wednesday. So now you know i'm back to doing my updated videos at the regular time internet connection is also here so looking at these satellite imagery right now we can definitely see that there is some activity around and in the caribbean this blob here that may you know have your attention so that is a disturbance a tropical wave which is making its way by not expected to develop into anything though and in the gulf of mexico we can see the ravaged hurricane barrel so barrel has been ravaged in many areas but since it moved over land coupled with unfavorable conditions such as the upper level winds the storm itself has been ravaged so barrel has weakened down to a tropical storm and it is in the gulf however it is anticipated to re-strengthen into a hurricane before moving inland so we'll be talking about all of that in a moment and then notice that in the main development region we're not seeing much happening that is because of a lot of dry air and dust around so that is kind of helping to stabilize atmospheric conditions to the point where we're not really seeing much happening so let's head into the caribbean here we can see this blob here lots of showers and thunderstorms moving through and this has been influencing the weather across a few spots in jamaica so maybe you're receiving some rain or overcast skies you can let me know what been going on for you but as it is going to be uh, drifting around in the area it's likely to bring more rainfall so there could be those periods of heavy rain and that could even result in some level of flooding as well and with some of those thunderstorms that may pop up due to the system you know due to all the moisture around there could even be some strong wind gusts at times so that is what is expected of it especially as we head into the afternoon hours but elsewhere across the Caribbean, a few spots in Central America, a bit, of uh, a bit of activity, some showers around here and there. And then for the Eastern Alps, especially the Lesser Antilles, ABC Islands, we can see that much is not going on right now. So let's look at the rainfall forecast for today. And as the map becomes more colorful, more rain is expected. So across parts of Jamaica, maybe southern Haiti as well, and a couple spots in Central America, there could be maximum rainfall amounts up to an inch or so. Similar thing for the islands of San Andreas, Providencia, the Cayman Islands, and even up to Cuba as well. As we head up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, parts of Florida, there could be a few showers passing by. Not a guarantee for everywhere, though. Then for the Dominican Republic, parts of uh, Puerto Rico, and even the uh, Virgin Islands, much rain is not expected. Few scattered across the Lesser Antilles and ABC Islands today, and then things get a bit more active for northern South America. So... There could be some periods of heavy rain across Colombia, Venezuela, and even sections of the Guyanas as well. So back to Jamaica, again, that tropical wave is loitering in the area. So there could be some periods of those heavy downpours and that may result in some level of flooding. Hopefully that won't be anything very significant today. And then for the wind forecast, so as, you know, similarly as we saw how the map got more colorful, which was indicative of more rain for the rainfall map, it is a similar thing here with the wind map. So the more color we see with those shades of purples, blues popping up even those greens that is indicating those stronger winds so there we can see uh the winds associated with the burial but as we're going to be heading throughout today for the caribbean there could be uh winds really starting to kick up over 20 uh 22 knots or so for parts of the eastern caribbean so the lesser antilles virgin islands puerto rico abc islands will be a bit windy as we head through today even some spots in jamaica as well but elsewhere should be a little bit more on the tranquil side winds probably maximized at say 5 10 knots or so and then with barrel uh, we're seeing all those green shading so tropical storm force winds associated with it again it has weakened down to a tropical storm so let's go ahead and talk about burial this is the latest cone forecast for the tropical storm we can see that as of 4 a.m this morning it is sustaining maximum winds of 60 miles per hour and making its way to the west northwest at 12 miles per hour so Brazil is not a fast mover 
uh, compared to especially on its journey throughout the Caribbean and it is in the Gulf right now, the Western Gulf. So it is expected to take advantage of the very warm waters there and other environmental conditions which may allow it to re-strengthen into a hurricane. So we can see that pink highlight along the Texan coast going to a few spots in northeast Mexico near that border with Texas. So there could be hurricane conditions as we head into the early part of the new week, headed to Sunday, well, tomorrow and going into Monday as well. So Beryl, again, not moving so quickly compared to uh, how fast it was moving on its way on its journey through the Caribbean, but it is expected to bring hurricane and maybe tropical storm conditions to parts of the Gulf coast and so there's going to be that storm surge the winds of barrel pushing the water on shore so that's going to cause some coastal flooding there is going to be the regular heavy rains associated with it and that may lead to additional flooding further inland and those gusty winds as well which may cause some damage so it is not expected to be stronger than a cat one hurricane so those cat one winds can definitely do some damage to trees poles even weak buildings and structures as well can experience some damage from uh, uh, that intensity but then as Bill is going to be making its way inland into texas and making that curve to the northeast it is expected to quickly weaken and become a post-tropical cyclone as it moves out however still likely to bring that rainfall threat with it so that is the latest on barrel again uh it was a monstrous category 5 hurricane in the caribbean but has since you know it has been interacting with land it has been encountering some unfavorable conditions and thus has not been you know intensifying it has been doing the opposite which is weakening especially since it moved over the yucatan so it's not looking too good right now but again it is expected to re-strengthen into a hurricane before making its final approach to land Going on to this map here, so I mentioned earlier that, you know, there's quite a bit of dust and dry air out there that's kind of helping uh, to keep things at a minimum right now in terms of tropical activity. So as we look across the main development region, even parts of the Caribbean, especially in the east, we see all these colors, these shades of reds and these pinks as well. And uh, towards Africa, even those white shadings, very, very high concentrations of all that dry air associated with the Saharan air layer. So this usually peaks in, uh, peaks in the month of July where all these dusty plumes come off Africa and move to the west. And they do help to keep, you know, to uh, kind of pause tropical cyclone activity where we don't see anything major for a while. But this is exactly the change, you know, this quietness across the main development region is exactly the change as we head into likely uh, July and into August as well when things are expected to resume ramping up across the tropics. So we'll have those tropical waves to watch for now. There is one out there, not a problem for anyone though, and not sustaining a whole lot of activity. And then there's that next one in the Caribbean, which at one point was dubbed Invest 96L. However, it does not seem as though it will develop, but will still be a rainmaker for Jamaica and may unleash some periods of heavy rains today. So that may result in flooding, just reiterating that. So in case you see any flooded roadways or bridges, please do not attempt to cross. Very dangerous. And again, you know, with the uh, recovery efforts ongoing from Barrel, this may kind of push things back if it does, in fact, unleash uh, some more inclement weather conditions in the afternoon hours for parts of Jamaica. And one of the main concerns right now is the power outages. So again, thankfully for my area, it came back last night. I mean, perfect timing as well. It was so hot last night, but there are so many areas still unable to get some power. So I really hope that it can be restored as quickly as possible for the entirety of the island uh, for all those customers affected by, you know, the impacts of barrel. So that is it for this update video, guys, and I really do hope you found it to be very informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.